Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're covering the new Tracks window, which is a new feature in Band in a Box 2024. To open the Tracks window, click on the Views toolbar, then click on the Tracks button. Alternately, you can go to the Window menu and select Tracks window. Now this particular view may look familiar to some of you, as it's very similar to the view in most DAWs. In Band in a Box, it allows for lossless manipulation of tracks in a familiar environment. Now navigating the tracks window is simple. You can use the mouse scroll wheel to zoom in and out horizontally, or if you hold the control button down, you can zoom in and out vertically. You can also zoom in and out with these plus and minus buttons in the toolbar. These ones zoom in and out horizontally, and these ones zoom in and out vertically. Now there's a numbered scale at the top of the window, which shows you the bar numbers as well as the chorus and part markers. As you can see, this is chorus one, bar one, and it has the A part marker. While this bar is bar 15 in chorus two and uses a B part marker. The full height dividers are the bar lines and the small ones are beat lines. Often it's a quarter note or eighth note, but if you zoom out far enough, some of those will disappear. On the left side of the window, you have the controls for each track. For example, you can mute solo and freeze each track individually, as well as adjust the volume, pan, reverb, and tone of each track. To adjust these, simply click and hold on each number, then drag the mouse up and down. Alternatively, you can right click on the number and type in what you want. Or you can hover the mouse over the number and use your mouse scroll wheel to adjust it. Now if you hold the shift key while clicking and dragging, that will adjust all the tracks by the same amount. This is a relative adjustment. If you hold control instead while clicking and dragging, that makes it an absolute adjustment, meaning that every track will be set to the same amount. Notice how all tracks are now minus 10. This of course can be undone with control Z and redone with control shift Z, just like anything else in the program. So you can easily toggle back and forth between two different values to see what you like. If you like as well, you can also expand this section by hovering your mouse over the divider between the track headers and the track section, and then click and drag to the side. Similar to the mixer, you can double click on a track name to rename it. You can also right click on each track for a menu, or click on the down arrow on the bottom right of the track header. The menu that pops up here will allow you to do a variety of things, including choosing different types of audio tracks, such as real tracks, real drums, or loops, as well as choosing different types of MIDI tracks or accessing the track settings and track actions menus. If you want to export a track to another program, you can drag the track name up to the drop station in the upper left. This lets you render the track as WAV, MP3, MIDI, or various other formats. Once the track is rendered, the icon will turn green and you can drag it from there into another program or to the desktop. Now the most important new feature of the tracks window is edit mode. This allows you to losslessly manipulate each real track, including trimming and moving riffs or changing volume and transposition for each riff. Click on the edit mode button here to enable that. Now you'll see boxes around the various real track segments. There are a variety of things you can do with each riff. If you click and drag the top bar of the riff, you can shift it left and right. You can do the same with the left and right boundaries. This adjusts the start and stop point of each riff without shifting it in time. For example, there's a pickup note in this saxophone riff that I want to eliminate, and it's now as simple as dragging the start point left and right. Naturally, you can undo and redo these changes if you need to. Now, the last thing we'll cover is exploring the toolbar above the tracks window. You can see the aforementioned zoom buttons, plus you can click on the whole track button, which will zoom out to show you the entire song. The loop selected area button will allow you to loop any highlighted segment of audio. Simply highlight it, then click loop selected area. The Select Whole button will select the entire track, 
For example, if I want to select the entire drums track, I just need to highlight the drums track, then click Select Whole. And lastly, the gear button opens the audio edit settings, which allows you to change some crossfade parameters or the color of your waveform. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. I hope it's been enlightening for you. However, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to our support staff via phone, chat, or email. Either way, as always, have fun. Mm -hmm.